I'm Sandrine here on Happy Cool and welcome to my very first review for Outlander. First episode was called, I think it's pronounced Sassanak? Sassanak? Sassanak. Let's just go with that. Let's talk about it. Before we delve into the meat of the episode, I have a few quick thoughts. First of all, I guess I should mention that I haven't read the book, so my review is based solely on watching the episode. I wanted to make a special mention of the opening title sequence because of how beautiful it is and that music and it just like puts you right in there. I was like, oh, I love it. I love it so much. I don't even want to fast forward through it. I just want to be like, that's part of the experience of watching the show. And then I wanted to talk about, and again, I'm so bad with names, so if I'm pronouncing her name wrong, I'm sorry. But Katriana Balfi, she's my new woman crush right now. She's just so perfect as Claire. It's like the role was made for her. I'm just watching, I'm like, So great. But now let's get into the episode. I want to first talk about what happened in the present. I really love that they didn't rush into the time traveling aspect and took the time to build out Claire's current life and relationship with her husband so that you really feel how horrible it is for her to be transported into this strange place where she knows no one. And speaking of Claire's husband, Frank, oh my god, I love him so much much and I don't know if it's the same in the book but they did such a great job of making him likable like almost too likable I'm like are we supposed to really like him that much because I really like him and I'm kind of rooting for him and so when she does travel in time you're kind of like oh no but they were so cute together I don't want her to be gone Aww. one of my favorite scenes between the two was the jumping on the bed when they get to the hotel because it was just just perfect way to show their relationship, the complicity between the two. I, such a cute scene and such a great way to introduce them together. One thing I'm wondering if they're ever going to explain is who was the man that was watching Claire comb her hair? It just kind of seemed magical and he just kind of disappeared. So I'm like, oh, is that ever going to be explained or is it just part of the you know, kind of sci-fi, supernatural, time-traveling aspect of things. But I just thought I'd mention it. And before we get to the time travel element, you have the beautiful druid ritual that literally gave me chills. Kind of like Claire. And at that point, you're like, oh, it's coming. Something's coming. And you know. But it was, again, the music. So beautiful. So beautiful. And it's finally time for us to go back to the past. And Claire lands in 1743, Scotland. I love the way she describes what it felt like for her to go back in the past because at least we didn't get any kind of cheesy Claire traveling. She equals it to that car crash, which I think gives us a way better sense of what it felt like than any visual could have done. But of course, Claire doesn't realize where she is yet. And I have to say, and I mentioned that in my advanced review for the show, that her reaction to seeing the soldiers and all that is exactly how I think a normal person would react. Like, I would be like, oh my god, am I on a movie set? Is this a reenactment type of thing? Like, what's going on? And then Claire meets Jamie and they lived happily ever. No, that's the wrong thing. That's not yet. But Claire definitely meets Jamie. And all I keep thinking this whole time is, my God, she must be so cold. What is up with that like really light dress? I am cold for her because I would be freezing. And then there's rain. I'm like, how is she not just shivering all the time? I don't understand. Part of me also wonders what are some of the effects of Claire telling Jamie about the ambush? Like, did she change the course of history? Is her being there in the first place changing the course of history? Or was she always meant to be there? Those time traveling elements always mess with my head. So I try not to think too hard about it, but I did think about it then. So. I also love how Claire is using words like, we need to disinfect this and there are germs and the people are totally like, what? What are, you, what? what are you talking about? And they're completely clueless, which at the same time, I'm like, she has to be careful because if she starts doing weird things for them, I mean, they could start calling her like a witch or something, right? I mean, I'm just a little worried. So 
Yeah. And the best part is when she curses and they're like, whoa, never heard a woman speak with that kind of language. And I'm like, you go, Claire. And the episode ends as they get to Castle Leoc. And as Claire says, her journey is only beginning and we're only starting to watch it and can't wait to see more. Oh my God. I love this show so much. New favorite show right there. If Outlander was like something that I could hold or hug or I would just kind of squish it really hard and never let it go. As for Jamie, I know a lot of book readers are probably super excited about him and loving him and I'm gonna say from the first episode, I like him, but I'm just like, okay, let's see where that goes. I'm sure in a few episodes, I'll just be like, yeah, totally love him. But so far, I'm still like with Frank. So far, I'm like, mm, I like Frank. So those were all my thoughts for the first episode. But of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts, whether you've read the books or not. Did you like this first episode? And for book readers, were you satisfied with the way that it was translated into the screen? And do you guys like Frank as much as I do? Or are you already rooting for Jamie? Let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, because I will be reviewing Outlander every week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye! Love, 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 love so much.